Mm. Wow, that's bad. Um, so, sorry, I have three main principles for hiring well. Number one, her goals need to align with mine. Number two, she needs to be a good team player. And number three, she needs to be a good person. Basically, what I need is an accomplished stylist who has the experience and the personality to fit in with our culture and our business. No small task. <laughs> Woo! Um, I'm not gonna have any more of that. See, it just seems like with every stylist I meet, I'm increasingly unsure. I mean, one of them has great technical skills, but not a good fit. And then the other one has a good personality, but not enough experience. I'm confused and worried. It's really important that I make a good decision here. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Knee deep. Ooh, finding us someone fantastic? Well, I'm trying, mostly coming up short. Well, I have no fear. I have a solution. What's that? Well, it's not what, it's who. It's a good friend of mine, Maya Saji. Time cuts, shears. Those are value signs. Look, don't judge a stylist by the salon, okay? She's pretty awesome. Mm, doesn't sound like a lumineer to me. Wow, look at you. I'm just saying, we're a little bit more full service here. Well, look, talent is talent, Alice. Is it, Brad? Is it? Well, yeah, it is. I don't even know what you mean by I that. I think what you, you know what I mean about? by that. The kids, we have guests arriving in five minutes. Just leave it here and I'll get to it when I can. All right. She's good. She's real good. After you? Mm. Okay. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000. Hi, uh, welcome to Studio Luma. Hi, I'm Courtney Bevan. I have an appointment with Sylvie. That would be me. Oh, perfect then. It is very nice to meet you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. The salon here is gorgeous. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Can I get you some coffee or water? Coffee, no. Water. I keep it with me wherever I go. It's very hydrating, good for the body and soul. That it is. Okay, would you like to join me at my station? Of course. All right, this way. And uh, I'm a simple person. I like my yoga hot and my Pilates cold. I love to run, bike, and swim, but on alternating muscle weeks. I track every organic calorie that goes into my body, and I meditate one hour for every six hours I actively sleep. I sweat in the sun, wind, and water. My naturally wavy hair takes a beating from the elements, and it just frizzes out if I don't give it time and attention. I want it to look good, but I want it to be straighter and more manageable. That's where Sylvie comes in. Dance of the straighteners. There are words that bring beautiful images to mind, like smoothing, natural, glossy, and soft. These are words used to market hair straighteners that sweep you away to a gentle world of beauty and grace. But there are some things the marketers don't mention, like formaldehyde or methylene glycol. If you're exposed to these chemicals too much, they can make you sick. So let's float past the flowery language and get down to types of hair straightening treatments and what's in them. First of all, we're talking about hair straightening. A different bird than relaxing, straighteners make hair lie sleek and smooth. There are two major kinds of straighteners, thio and keratin. You know about thios. Ammonium thioglycolate is used in perms and straighteners. The chemical breaks the disulfide bonds in the hair so it can be reshaped. Thio straighteners can be performed as a hot or cold process. 
Cold means that you apply the thio to wet hair, let it process and neutralize, and that's it. Curl is reduced, but won't get bone straight. The hot process means you flat iron the hair between the reforming and rebonding part of the chemical surface. It's thermally reconditioned, and it can get hair to lie bone straight. Keratin straighteners can also be done as a hot or cold process. Keratin is the protein in hair. So you'd think these straighteners are like a big old juicy protein shake for the hair. But hot process keratin treatments often include a preservative for the hair, one that releases as formaldehyde when hair is heated with an iron or blow dryer. Formaldehyde's bad stuff. It can irritate your nose, throat, eyes. Too much exposure is a cancer risk. So it's super important to read the ingredients in a keratin treatment. If it says methylene glycol, that's a red flag. OSHA treats that and many other ingredients as formaldehyde under their standard. That's not to say that all keratin hair straighteners are bad. In fact, many are full of conditioning proteins. And both keratin and thio straighteners come in a variety of formulations. Whether your guest's hair is coarse, fine, colored, or highlighted, you can choose a straightener that's best for her hair type. Understanding your guest's needs and how to fulfill those needs is always a bit of a stylist dance. But if you know what ingredients you're working with, that dance can be a ballet of beauty and grace. Straighter and more manageable. Absolutely. So you're thinking of permanently straightening your hair. The hair is throwing off my energy and balance. I'm looking for a solution, and I just want to know my options. Okay, uh, well, tell me a little bit about your hair and what you expect from a straightener. I expect to get the time back that it takes to shampoo and then wait for it to air dry and then style. I often leave the house with wet hair. Okay, do you always air dry it? Of course. If I blow dry it, it just frizzes over. Have you ever had your hair chemically straightened? No, I have not. I've preferred to keep it natural, sure. but what I have now is just not working. Hmm. Okay, I get it. I've read about keratin treatments, health warnings with formaldehyde, scary. <laughs> well, some procedures are more dangerous than others, but everything we do here is safe. Good to know. The structure of your hair will change with any permanent straightener, but I'll let you know how to protect it from damage and keep it healthy. I'm still really worried about the chemicals. I've never even colored. I totally understand. It's important to know what's going on in your hair. There are a lot of straightening products out there, and not all of them have the same chemicals. Not all of them are bad. There are so many chemicals out there. We thoroughly research every product we use here and recommend. I'm the same way. That's reassuring. Well, um, do you mind if I touch your hair and I can look at the curl pattern underneath? It's all yours. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll just get to it from back here then. Well, the curl pattern is even throughout and the texture's fine, so I would suggest a thio straightener. It's going to reduce the curl and help control that frizz. What can you tell me about thio? What does that word mean? That's a really good question. Thio stands for thioglycolate. It also contains botanical ingredients such as cherry bark, lavender, lemongrass, rosemary, and soybean protein. Botanicals sound good, but what about the other ingredients? Thio has the same ingredient as a permanent wave, which has been used safely for many years. I've never had a permanent, but my mom has, and she still has all of her hair, so I guess that's a good thing. Yes, that's, that's a good thing. How straight will my hair be when it's done? It's not going to be perfectly straight. We want to leave a little wave in there so that you can maintain the body and keep the integrity and strength of the strand. And no frizz? That's the best part. The frizz should be reduced. It'll be more manageable in general. That sounds so nice. Okay, well I am going to look at your hair a little more closely so I can get to know it better. Sure. Okay. Her hair texture's fine all right, but she's got a lot of it. Very dense, wow. Curl pattern, wavy. I, I definitely think that Thio is the best option for you. So you definitely think that this process is safe? I do. 
Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. We're gonna shampoo your hair, and then we'll rinse it out. I'll apply the straightening product in sections, and then we'll comb it out straight. Once it's processed, we'll rinse it, apply the neutralizer, rinse it one more time, and then we get to style it. Got it. I also want to make sure that we keep your hair healthy. So I would recommend that you pick up uh, the Luma shampoo conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. Sure, we can look at that on the way out. All right, you ready? I am. Okay, well, let's get you shampooed at our new shampoo station. All right. So how long have you worked at the salon? Oh, well, uh, we've been open for a little less than a year, but it's been many years in the works for me, so. Oh, so you're the owner. Yep, yep. That's great. Yeah. It must be stressful. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's a labor of love, but it, it can be a little bit stressful sometimes, so. I bet there's a lot to consider. It is, uh, especially right now, we're kind of in a period of transition, so. All I need is a state inspector to walk through the door. We're just hiring um, a new stylist, so there's a lot to do. I, I need to follow up on all their references and then update the handbook. And then I guess the big worry is what if the person that you interview winds up being totally different than the person that you actually hire? Mm. So it's a big decision. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. I just, I, I thought the process would be a little bit smoother. I kind of spend the whole day thinking hard about it and then I go home and obsess all night, so. Oh, so you're not sleeping? Not very well. No, I, I, I just, I don't want to make the wrong decision and I don't know how this is going to turn out, so. Mm. Textbook anxiety. How about eating and exercise? Oh, how about not very well and does this count as exercise? <laughs> You know what? You're not painting a very good picture here. The first thing you need to do is eat a healthy meal today. Then go for a run this afternoon. That alone will help you sleep. Okay. You're not seeing this, but you are suffering from reduced cognitive function. You're just not satisfying your basic physical needs. Uh, reduced what was that? You're not thinking clearly. Okay, well, I, I guess I have been a little bit slow. Have you ever tried meditation? Oh, uh, yeah, it's not really my thing, but thank How you. How would you know? I just, it seems kind of. Look, I've been doing this for years, and it's brought me clarity and balance. Well, clarity and balance? Trust me, 15 minutes in a quiet, darkened room with one single point of focus will do you wonders. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I, I, I'm actually really gonna think about that. Thank you. There you go. All right, there you go. How's that, is that comfortable? Um, can you lower the towel a little bit? Oh, sure, yep. There we go. Yeah. That's good. All right. Okay, quick check of her scalp. Make sure there are no cuts, abrasions, or irritations, because I couldn't proceed with the service if there were. Doesn't seem like she's the type to use many products in her hair, but I'm still going to use a clarifying shampoo. Strips away oil, dirt, anything built up on the scalp or strands. to try most things once, but I'm not thrilled about putting chemicals on my hair. I'm also not thrilled about constant frizz. Sylvie clearly knows the products, so I'm convinced that this is safe. All right, how does that feel? Yeah, I feel good. You ready for this smooth new you? I am. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'll put some leave-in treatment on her hair. It's going to restore the pH balance and add some protein. And that should help the thio formula process more evenly. Comb it 
all the way through. Make sure it's distributed. Start my sectioning. Nose to nape. Balance my comb at the apex because where it lays flat and doesn't rock is my ear to ear part line. Barrier cream around her hairline. As chemicals go, a thio straightener isn't that harsh, but it's still a chemical, so I'm still gonna protect her skin. And mine. As services go, thio straightening's pretty simple. I just need to make sure it's evenly applied. So I've got to be systematic and go subsection by subsection. Brush on the thio, staying away from the scalp by a quarter to half an inch, and bring it down through the ends. Another subsection, same thing. The thio's chemical action and my physical action of smoothing, that's what reduces her curl pattern. My subsections are small enough to make sure the file really gets in there and penetrates, but big enough for me to move quickly. Always amazes me how these chemicals seem to do their invisible work. The ammonia gets the cuticle to swell. That lets the file get into the cortex to break down disulfide bonds. In this case, we'll be breaking and taking those bonds into a straight formation. Not trying to play tug of war here, but I do need to apply some pressure to encourage a straight hair formation. Sometimes the physical part of straightening hair becomes quite physical. <laughs> Last bit for this section. A thio straightener doesn't process the same as a hydroxide relaxer. The chemicals aren't as strong, but I still want to be quick and efficient so the thio can process evenly. So far, so good. On to the next section. Applying cold thio straightener is pretty simple. Don't have to be perfectly exact and controlled. Just make sure the file's applied evenly to the hair. Don't need to make special accommodations for any of the hair near the hairline. Even though it's more fragile, the thio is gentle enough that this hair can be treated like any other subsection. Getting close to the scalp, but not on the scalp. This is a cold thio process. It's going to reduce her curl, make her hair more manageable and shiny, but it won't be bone straight. Thermal reconditioning, on the other hand, will make hair bone straight. Different kind of process. Last little bit of thio. Then I can smooth her hair. Smoothing the hair with a wide tooth comb, 
going in the order that I applied the thio. Combing the ends and working my way up, encouraging the hair to lay in a straight formation. The thio is doing its thing by breaking down the hair bonds. I'm doing my thing of distributing the thio and physically, manually drawing the hair into a straight formation. All right, I'll smooth this last section. I think we're going to get a good result here. Her wavy, semi-frizzy hair is a textbook candidate for a thio straightener. Doing it by the book. Even product disposal. This kitten is here to trick you. Don't trust her fuzzy little face. She's a distraction. Because really, what's a kitty cat have to do with hair? Nothing. She just makes our real topic a little softer. Because it's time for an introduction to laws and rules. Laws may sound like mew, 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 law, mew, 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 rule. But you have to know them to get your license. Yup, learn it to earn it. So let's define the difference between a law and a rule, and some of the top reasons salons are fined for breaking them. Laws, they're passed by state government. They spell out terms and conditions for practicing cosmetology in your state. They're the legal real deal. Break one, and it's a violation. To recognize a law, let's have little kitty pick a state on the map. Kansas, okay. Among other things, Kansas Statute Number 65-1902 says you can be fined up to $1,500 for practicing cosmetology without a license. Ouch! That's rent and about 200 lattes. If laws are the big stick of authority, rules, also called regulations, are like branches of the law. Rules determine how the law is applied. Each state enforces a lot of rules, and they change more frequently. Most deal with safety and sanitation. Let's get little kitty's help for an example of a rule. Minnesota. Part of rule number 2105.0370 says each salon will have readily accessible first aid supplies. Makes sense? You find laws and rules for each state in a booklet. States use different letters or numbers to separate laws from rules. You'll have to memorize some of those numbers. To make that easier, here's a memory trick, courtesy of Kitty. Texas. Rule number 83.108 is about cleaning procedures for pedicure foot basins. Hmm, the first and last numbers are the same. The rule's about foot basins. Picture the eight and eight as feet. In between the feet, three, one, zero. Know anyone in LA with this area code? Find a reference that works for you and go with it. By the way, a huge reason that salons get fined is sloppy cleaning of pedicure spas. Here are other common violations. Lack of cleanliness and repair. Insufficient disinfectant in containers. Towels. Yes, towels. They're either not cleaned or not stored properly. There's a theme here. Laws, rules, and regulations keep you, your guests, and your salon safe. Not only is it smart to learn them, you will be tested on them. A pain to learn, but less painful than kitty claws on a chalkboard. By the way, little kitty, unless you're a service animal, you probably can't legally be in a salon. But you sure make a nice study companion. Check her curl. Not much way of her body. Hair's hanging pretty straight. Time to rinse. Warm water, directing the hair in a straight formation, medium water pressure. Hair is better able to absorb water when it's not a fire hose. Get the nape area, not looking to massage or force out the thio, just patiently rinsing until it's all down the drain. At least five minutes. To neutralize, I apply in the same order I did with the thio. The process is quick. 
So I do it at the shampoo bowl, using plenty of product, making sure it saturates, working efficiently. Because her curls reduced, I don't have all the texture grabbing onto the application brush. So this application's a little slicker, faster, easier. Just wanna make sure the neutralizer is distributed through all the hair. Brush it on, use my hands to bring it through, keep the process moving. Subsections are about an inch, not super thin. All the way down to her ends. I'll take a comb through her hair, make sure neutralizers on each and every strand. I'll do her front sections right in the shampoo bowl. That way, if I lose my pace, I can rinse out her back so it doesn't overprocess. The goal is to apply quickly and efficiently, so all the hair processes on the same schedule. And so far, so good. Just about done applying, last subsection. Nice to do this at the bowl, cause it can get a little sloppy. Especially managing hair this long. Comb through, reinforcing that straight formation of hair. Chemically, this is the point where those reformed bonds snap into place which in her case is less wave, straighter hair. This is the physical part of a thio straightener, combing that hair straight down. Five minutes is it. That's the neutralizer's processing time. Same story for every manufacturer never changes. And rinse away part two of the chemical process, encouraging that straight formation of the hair. Make sure to get the nape. Rinse until I think I'm done, and then rinse a little more. No need to shampoo, just a light conditioner to add some shine and get rid of tangles. Not a bad idea when I'm working with, what, 20 inches of hair? Rinse the conditioner. Even wet, her hair feels smooth, slippery. A good sign. All right, so we can just head back to my station and we can get you styled. Great. Courtney, I just, I wanna say I'm sorry. I kind of laid a bit too much on you there. Honestly, it's no problem. We all need a little nudge back towards center every once in a while. Well, I think I have a little bit to go, but you had some really good suggestions. Well, when six o'clock rolls around, you're gonna cut out of here and take care of yourself, right? I will certainly try. There is no try, only do.
Yeah, okay, I will eat something healthy and exercise and sleep. Yes, I will do. You won't regret it. Okay, good suggestion, thank you. All right, we can go right over here. <laughs> Spray on some leave-in conditioner, helps the comb out and adds moisture. It also closes the cuticle so the hair is less stressed. I sectioned her hair for better control as I dry it. The blow dry brush is the tool of choice. The nylon bristles are heat resistant, anti-static, and don't rip the hair. Blow dryer follows the brush. Brush directs and holds on to that long length of hair. Using the brush to get just a little lift and volume near the scalp. Wow, she sure didn't have this kind of shine when she came in, or this texture. It's a nice thing about a thio straightener. Takes away frizz, makes the hair more manageable, easier to style. Spritzed on some thermal protectant. Now I'll just take this flat iron over the surface to finish the look. Gorgeous, chic, and sleek. Okay, what do you think? So smooth. I love it. Yeah? Sleek and shiny. Anything you change with the style? Nope, no returns, no regrets. <laughs> well, I'm really happy that you like it. Thank you for talking through my chemical concerns. Oh, of course, it's totally understandable. Your health is obviously very important to you and your hair is a part of that picture. It is. Um, one last confession. Lay it on me. <laughs> if you hadn't liked it, I probably would have gone in the break room and cried. Nothing wrong with that. Cleanses the tear ducts. Wow, I, I really love your optimism. <laughs> All right, should we get you out of here? This was exactly my hope. I wanted to walk out of the salon today with a sleek new look. Now it's off to the trails, mountain biking this afternoon, and a late dinner out. In between a manageable turnaround with my new hair. Love it! Mm. Looks good. I'll take the shampoo, okay. the conditioner, and the leave-in thing. The leave-in treatment I used? Yeah. All right, and would you like to schedule a retouch? I would. Okay, how about two months from today? Sure. Okay, and it, now it can last up to three months, so just let me know how it's growing out, and we can change your appointment if we, we need to. Can we try for the same time? Yes, 10 a.m.? Perfect. Okay. I just love what you did. I'm really glad you like it. And I'd really appreciate if you would just pass my name along to anyone else who needs a new style. I will, for sure, at my yoga. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. Stay strong. Be well. I will. Thank you. Here we go. Is that everything? This is everything. Okay. I had too much on my mind today. I sort of hit a breaking point. I think I took it too far with Courtney. She's not my therapist, although she's really good at it. 
I can't put so much pressure on myself. I mean, this hire is very important, but so is a balanced approach. I just need to be thorough in my review and trust my instincts and believe that everything is gonna be okay. Yes, could I please speak with Maya? Hi, Maya, this is Sylvie Mendez from Studio Luma. Do you have a few minutes to chat?